Destiny hitting cinemas June 30, I thought we'd celebrate and check out one of India's previous installments. Let's go. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is a single player action game developed by Tier Text Design Studios, published by US Gold, that was released for the Amiga, C64, Atari ST, and Amstrad CPC from 1989 to 1994. The game that coincides with the film has a player controlling Indy on a quest, platforming and traversing several stages in the search for the Holy Grail. The game received mixed to poor reviews, however it reached number 1 in the UK charts with a record total of 36 weeks. The NES version was praised for its action gameplay, and well, the Amiga, let's check it out. As it follows the film, the player's got to look at several items throughout the game, like the Cross of Corando, the Diary, the Night Shield, so it somewhat follows the movie. But I'm not impressed one bit. The game's title screen, sprite work, music, that looks pretty promising. But looks can be deceiving, let me tell you now. The first thing that sticks out is the giant Indiana Jones logo that takes up a quarter of the screen. Whilst I don't mind the photo of Indy, because it's Harrison Ford and he's a mad cunt, but is it really necessary? Like, we get it. The rest of the layout is fine, I guess, whatever. The levels, if you haven't noticed, are silent, making it a ball fest for my ears. And the gameplay, let's talk about that. Controls, they're not great. And once again, it seems like everything is out to kill you. Which I must say, talk about deja vu. Jesus Christ, is everything trying to kill you in this level or what? Yeah, this is even worse. Spikes on every freaking wall. Falling debris. Enemies with guns and knives. And fall damage, which will result in 90% of the player's deaths. That shit drains your energy like there's no tomorrow, which essentially is your health. Why is there two? Fuck knows. Did I mention that there's a time limit in this piece of shit? Yeah, you might notice an annoying sound in the background every 10 seconds. Well, that's the only indicator to hurry the fuck up. My only tip for this game, be bloody patient, as timing is essential, especially when it comes to these stupid rope men that are unpredictable and annoying. Get tagged and you will fall to your death, and believe me when I say this, this game is trial and error. Uh, this feels like it's going forever. When does it end? Thank god there are checkpoints, because if there wasn't, then this crap would be impossible. If you're going to play any games of the series, check out The Last Crusade, The Graphical Adventure. That is an innovative masterpiece done by LucasArts, and it's one of the best games ever produced. Unfortunately, my copy is broken, so I couldn't review it. Another great game would have to be The Fate of Atlantis, that can be found in the staff of Kings on the Wii, so maybe worthwhile getting your hands on that. But in conclusion, The Last Crusade, the action arcade version, is painfully bad that puts shame upon the Indiana Jones name and franchise as a whole. Do not waste your time with this fuckery.